Hello, and welcome back to Aging Well, monthly production of Somerville Cambridge Elder Services. I'm your host, Nathan Lamb. With me in the studio today is Ann Keefe. Ann, great to have you here. Great to be back. Oh, excellent. So we were talking a little bit about dementia and Alzheimer's and other memory disorders. Um, and in the first segment, we talked a bit on diagnosing them and recognizing the symptoms. Uh, in this segment, I was hoping we could talk a little bit about how our agency is able to provide some help for families and caregivers who are facing challenges because of Alzheimer's and dementia. Um, so I guess, can you tell me a little bit about some of the supports that our agency offers? Absolutely. So um, we have a family caregiver support program that offers um, individual and family consultations either in the office in their home um, or you know extended conversations over the phone if it's difficult for you know caregivers who are working um, we have educational materials we have um, you know dementia coaching sessions we um, you know in some situations we can do um, um, conduct family meetings mm. um, for family members um, we also, um, uh, you know, can refer out to caregiver support groups in the area. Mm -hmm. um, we have um, a wonderful guide for caregivers that's put out by the National Institute on Aging and the Alzheimer's Association that provides um, really, uh, you know, a very simple guide um, on any number of topics um, that are related to um, areas of um, where you might be having some difficulty, like, you know, how do I discuss communication with my um, loved one, with my family member, or how do I, um, if we're going out to a restaurant, what do I need to be um, thinking about um, to make that person comfortable? Um, we also have um, within the... Um, the agency, a music and memory program, which is really wonderful. Um, and that is a program, we know that music um, is, you know, very strongly connected to memories mm -hmm. and that music can elicit these memories. So um, we can um, find out what music um, is meaningful to that person and we can um, put a playlist on like these iPods um, and can provide them for that family member mm -hmm. um, and it, it's amazing to just see that person come to life when they hear music that they really can relate to mm -hmm. um, and sometimes y you notice even that um, someone who you know is kind of nonverbal all, all of a sudden becomes pretty, you know, talkative and can talk about, you know, that experience, that, that time in the past. Mm. Um, there are memory cafes um, mm. in the, in the, locally in the area mm. that we can um, tell people about. Um, it's, 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 it's interesting. We had a conference on uh, dementia a few months back, and mm -hmm. I remember there was a segment on memory cafes, which mm -hmm. was very eye-opening for me. Um, and around the same time, we did launch the uh, Music and Memory program. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a couple things I liked about our Music and Memory program. Right. One of them was, I think there's a lot of adult daycare providers who mm. offer it. But mm -hmm. we, to our knowledge, there weren't really any other providers who would bring it into people's homes right. the way that we did. Right. And it's, it's kind of cool that that fits with how our agency is all about helping people do things in home. Right. And we, we sort of brought that um, in home for people. But mm -hmm. we, we did actually put um, mm -hmm. a feature on that in our most recent issue of The mm -hmm. Advocate. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. definitely at the end of the show, I'll give people mm -hmm. a little more information. Right. On There's also a video that Music and Memory put out about the program that really explains yes. it better then we can, we can mm. sort of explain it. Somebody explained it to me and I had one reaction and we watched the video and see the video that they did presenting how the program works. Right. It was really kind of amazing to see how well it worked, that right. it really did help this person reconnect right. with these memories. <clears throat> um, 
in a way that you know I didn't entirely think was possible until I saw mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, right, it's uh, it's an interesting program, and I think uh, we had a fair number of people who signed up for that right out the gate who were interested. I don't remember the exact number, but I think it was a few dozen people who were involved mm -hmm. with our adult family care program mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that were uh, curious about that. Right. So. The other thing I wanted to mention, um, Nathan, is that um, our aging information staff is um, teamed, by, uh, ha teamed with um, professionals who have um, very good knowledge of um, dementia and assessing and so we, um, we, you know, we can help that person navigate the array of resources out there because it's, it can be very confusing mm. and can sort of point the person, the family member, in the right direction and help them come up with a plan of care. Mm. So, um, you know, and we can follow that person, follow that caregiver and be there as a, as a coach for them when they, you know, when questions come up. So it's a, it's a very um, sort of specialized service that we can provide. It's probably that mm -hmm. guidance is really important when you're yeah. kind of having to learn on the job. I right. became a parent a couple years ago and I, I learned quite a bit on the job very quickly and I suppose right. probably being a caregiver, kind of the same thing at times. It sure is. <laughs> And one other thing before we go to break uh, that I just learned about, we do not have a memory cafe, but the, mm -hmm. um, we had a speaker that was involved with uh, mm -hmm. memory cafes across the area. Really kind of an amazing program for people if they're not familiar with it. Mm -hmm. are, are you familiar with the, the whole memory cafe model? I am, yes. Um, and in fact, we, uh, there are a couple of memory cafes in our area one um, that is just started up through the Somerville Council on Aging. Mm. And there's another one um, on Gore Street, right down the, the, right down the street from our agency. Um, I have those memory cafes where people who have the memory loss and their care partners can come and be in a very laid back, dementia-friendly space with music and art, you know, doing art, um, just talking socially with other people mm -hmm. who are going through the same, who have the same experience. I think two things that really struck me about it when we saw the speaker was mm -hmm. the, I think the two things was one, when you go in, it's not like they're gonna ask you about your diagnosis or anything. Right. You kind of just come in right. and do your thing. Exactly. And the other one was that to reconnect socially, mm. it's very difficult when you're doing, you're, you're sort of going into the caregiving mm -hmm. thing. Your life changes right. and you're sort of finding new things to do together. Mm -hmm. And I, I did hear some anecdotal accounts about how it was important for, for people who were going to the cafes because mm -hmm. it was an outing they could do, it was enjoyable. Right. Kind of, you know, replace things that maybe they couldn't do um, anymore. So it was, it was very eye-opening uh, to me to learn about it. I didn't really know what it was all about. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But it, it, it sounded really promising in terms of ways that we can support people in the community who are facing these challenges. Right. So that's all for this segment. Uh, we'll be back with one more quick segment of Aging Well. Thanks again.